everybody. Uh, how's it going? Today I'm going to just share with you what I'm doing here. So what I've done here basically I created an app top bar and I created the navigation, which is basically the list items, right? So it's a navigation inside tabs, you know, hotels, flights, deals, and people can actually with their thumb, you know, scroll over and over and then, you know, see the rest of the, the list items. Now, obviously this here on the desktop is uh, in the center. But on the mobile, when you resize the screen, it's going to look like this. So as you can see here, this is a travel agency. And here it's asking to enter the destinations. On Monday, 24th of March, it's going to be the date where it's going to be actually the, the same date. So if you, today is the 20 is the 3rd of August, it's going to say, you know, from August 3rd to August 4th, that's the default settings. All right. But um, when you're developing um, an application, you kind of have to know the flow, right? So obviously, as a UI, UX UI designer, it's a really good idea that you don't just do UX UI. Like you shouldn't just be your job shouldn't just be <clears throat> you know to focus on the icons and all. Of course, that's important, uh, and it's important to be a specialist in what you do, and that's all you do. But it's really, really important that you understand the concept of what's happening here. So what I'm telling you is that regardless if you have specifications or you don't, um, you have to understand that there is a flow that a user is living. You got to be the user. So you're there and you need to make a search. We haven't done anything. So you click here and you want you start making a search. So what, what happens then? So you want to keep it a minimum. You want to keep it at a minimum because you don't want to put a bunch of stuff like, you know, enter this and that like a form. You know, you just want to say, hey, enter your destination, check in and check out. And most people, that's what they want to do. They don't care about the filters yet. They just, they just want to look at the hotels, the first thing, and then they apply the filters. So they enter destination or they enter a hotel name, check in, check out. And then now don't look at this. This is the first version I made here. Uh, so. And then the second part, uh, of course, uh, I'm going to just um, kind of like hide this for now. So you don't have to look at this. Do not look at this. So it goes from here, from this screen, uh, straight into this screen. So in case they click on the, the, the location, that's when they get to enter the location. Uh, so they can start typing or they can choose one of those, right? Now, after the search is made, like after they enter a location or after they enter something in their calendar here in the, you know, this, you know, check in and check out dates, that's when they see the rest of the hidden fields, which is the filter, uh, sort by, uh, whichever, uh, and then here is the additional, uh, filters and this is the map. You get me? Now, uh, obviously, the map should be there all the time, but for now, we're not gonna do. It. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do it like this. Okay. Now, the guests as well. That doesn't show up until later, because after first you do the search, and then you add the guests, and then you add the filters, the price, and then you add more filters if you want. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this here. Now, this is a, um, I was experimenting, so I didn't turn this into a symbol. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create this into a symbol. Now, this is a symbol, tap scrollable, taps mobile. Now, I'm going to call this the app top bar mobile version. So I am going to copy that. And I'm going to create a symbol. And that's really good practice, guys, to make symbols. Um, trust me, just you have to make symbols for everything. So app bar, top bar, app bar, top app bar, extended, flat, primary color. That doesn't make sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a different name. So I'm going to just copy this anyway. So, and I'm going to call this app top bar mobile. Up bar, top bar, mobile. I'm going to say OK. And then what I'm going to do, <clears throat> and since these are together, <coughs> I'm really sick. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Very, very sick. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to grab these here. I'm going to grab these two. And I'm going to call these 
I'm going to create a symbol here. Uh, create symbol, and I'm going to call this app top bar extended flat. Um, <clears throat> Extended flat uh, primary color. Let's say okay. So now I have the whole entire thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come here and I'm going to just, all I'm going to do is I'm going to replace with the document uh, app top bar, app top bar, mobile extended flat primary color. And of course, it's going to be distorted, so I have to uh, set to original size. And I got to grab everything below it. And of course, uh, all this here. I'm just going to move it. So oh, obviously I'm screwing up, so I'm going to command Z, Z, Z. Uh, <clears throat> so before we even do that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this and say, what's the height? It's 128. That's 128. And then from here to there, <clears throat> it's 29. That should, yeah, that should be 32, but okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, so I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to grab everything else. Now, what is this? That's the bottom. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. That's the bottom navigation. So I'm just going to not bother with this for now. I'm going to put it down there. Because in the beginning, I just I had the idea of putting the navigation in the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this and the container with it that that and that and i'm gonna move one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so from here to there 195 okay there's no reason to go that far down that's okay and then i'm gonna need to insert insert uh document app bar uh, top app bar, okay. And then for the position, I'm just gonna make sure it's zero and zero. That's an easy way instead of sitting there wasting time trying to figure out where the position is. Uh huh. And then everything else from here uh, to there. No, this is bad, 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 bad. Okay, this is that. This is that. Let's put that on the top. Oh, okay. Put that on the top, <laughs> and everything else comes back up. Option just to see where we are. Seven, four, three, two. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we got that now. So so okay. Um. That's the second, I shouldn't have even done this, but um, I just wanted to do it here because it just looked ugly, I didn't wanna. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna copy uh, basically the whole entire, I should make a symbol for that too. Uh, container, we don't, need to cap, we don't need to grab this. We just need to grab all that. I'll come here, and uh, of course, this is really bad what I'm about to do, so I'm not going to do it, because this is, I haven't created, uh, turned this into a symbol, so what I'm going to do now, and this I have not turned to a symbol yet, so right here, this is the navigation search, uh, this is after the search has been made, guys, after the search has been made. So this, that, and everything else needs to come down to the bottom. And you remember, we broke down the symbols earlier. So now 
thankfully. Uh, we're going to remove that. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert the app top bar and the search bar. Uh, okay, insert. Okay, and then that's going to be zero, zero. So, we're going to move that to the top. And everything else from here downwards is going to go up. Uh, guys, I'm not a designer, uh, so uh, but you can learn a few things from my experience. Uh, you are more than welcome to give me advice if you are a designer. Uh, now, why do we have this? It's a problem when I save the symbol. So let's change the symbol. Uh, this was never lined up properly. <clears throat> it's never lined up properly. So, uh, position here. Okay, this is just part of sketch. Uh, you know, it's 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 part of life. It's a lot of stuff here. I have a lot of elements. I have a lot of symbols. But you should build everything in symbols. Otherwise, you won't even be able to use this. It'll be ridiculous. So the reason why there's a space here is because the user can understand that they can scroll. And this is going to be changed because what I'm planning to do is move everything to the far left. And it's going to be one tap, two taps, three tap. And then on the third tap, it's going to be, it's going to be a bit, uh, it's going to have a transparency. So it's going to have a bit of a transparency. It's not going to be so uh, visible, but the user will know, hey, if I keep moving my thumb, I'll be able to go to the fourth, I'll be able to go to the fourth or the fifth tap. You know what I'm saying? So now, okay, now what was I trying, I wasn't teaching you sketch, but what I was showing you is that, so when you're in the search, you select a search or you select a check-in or check-out, what happens, now forget this for now, I'm not, I'm not emphasizing on this, but the minute the search is made, you come to this position, to this view, and this view includes the price, the, and then over here, sort by price, okay? Uh, and there needs to be like a, a drop down thing that you can just click it and then you select uh, whatever filter you want. And this is additional filters. And this is the map. Okay, now on the desktop version, we kind of have the same thing. Uh, so we got the sort by, this needs to change. Oh boy. And this is the filter, and that's the map that obviously that icon needs to change. <clears throat> So um, this doesn't seem right here. I, I, like the, the margins seem wrong, you know? So I may have to work on this for a bit, uh, but I'll just leave it like this for now. I think it, we're okay for now for beta version um, until <clears throat> a specialist designer actually comes in and does something better. All right, so that's what we're doing. And then, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, that's all. I just wanted to show you this, guys, that the views are so important. The views are so important. And I'm going to stress it over and over that, you know, if someone clicks on the search, <clears throat> your developer is not going to magically do this. Okay? I say again. Your developer is not going to magically do this. And if you're a UX, UI guy and, or a girl and you don't have specifications, then learn. You got to go research it. You got to go research it. So over here, when you click on search, um, if you click on search, you, you have to have a view. So that's the view. That's the search. And if you click on the calendar to check in, check out, you have to create the calendar. Of course, I created the calendar. It's not here right now. It's in a different uh, view. Um, but yeah, and the sidebar, the sidebar, if someone clicks the sidebar and obviously you have to change this now to a small, to a smaller log logo, 
So if the if the user clicks the, their thumb here, and then you know uh, this is like a, the older version, but I'm going to update it. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys is the views. The views are important, which is now we're in the app top bar uh, views, okay, on the search. Okay, see you guys in the next video.